Greetings everyone. It is the last day of doing pier footings. I'm going to do those two footings out by the outdoor living in the back and the two footings over there uh, on the outdoor living for the in-law unit. But uh, the rain definitely got uh, the best of us down here. Take a look at uh, what we got. So most of my foundation footings are pretty well flooded out. And then, of course, the swimming pools. Um, that, that ended up being a low spot. I'm guessing that's why that, there's so much water there. So we got some drying out to do. I've got the tractor warming up and I'm going to back up and I'm going to try to get up this little lift here to get over to the footings I need to dig, but that's about a five foot rise and it's pretty muddy. Hopefully we don't uh, tear it up and go sliding everywhere. I'm going to reposition the tractor so I can dig this way. So I'm going to try to fit it in between the two piers and dig that way. I think it will be easier because I'll be able to curl the scoop and curl the bucket and, and drag it back. So let me move things around and I'll get back in. One of the things that happened when I was digging stumps with my backhoe was I cracked the frame right there at that joint where it, it turns and goes up at a 45 degree angle. I cracked it on both sides. And after talking to the dealership, they suggested putting some gusset panels in there, which we did. We um, a buddy of mine welded in these 3 8 gussets that run from this joint right here, 45s down, and you can see where he rounded it off. So all that got welded in. So that was one of the suggestions from the dealership. But the other is using a top link. And my backhoe has a spot to put a pin here. And so you can run, so you could just put a manual crank top link here. 
and that also supports the backhoe frame because when you're digging there's a lot of uplift push back this way and when this joint cracked right here it cracked from the bottom going up so the backhoe was always pushing like this so check and see if your backhoe attachment for your tractor has a spot where you could put a top link and you will probably want to do that to save yourself some grief Now back to digging. Both of these piers are dug for the outdoor living, the back of the house. But now, sorry about the sun flare there. I have to get over there. So, I could either take my tractor right along this edge, which I think would be sketchy. I would have to have a kind of a tire on this dirt pile and a tire part way down the hill and I, I, I don't like that. So what I think I'm going to have to do is drive all the way around, come up on top of the hill on this side. I thought about coming down right actually kind of right over there it's about a six foot drop but it's pretty steep i think i could get down it but i don't know if i'd ever get back up so i think i'm going to continue around over here and i can get in between these two trees here uh i was over there let's see i guess it was two weeks ago almost to pick up a bucket for my buddy who's doing the excavating so I think I can come down there and what I'll do is then I'll straddle the little gully created by the hillside and my pile of dirt so I'll probably pull these stakes on the wattles and kind of get them out of the way so then I can kind of come down this way and then down this way and I think that's a safer bet All right, let's go for a ride.
I think I might have to call in a lifeline for this one. That is, that rock is super hard. Uh, I don't know if you could tell on the time warp how I was just trying to pound into that with the bucket teeth, but I think I'm gonna go get uh, a little jackhammer and see if I can 
break that up. I'm gonna see what I can get done with that Bosch hammer drill. Hopefully that's enough to break it up and then I can shovel it out with a shovel. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks like I'm going to be here for a while, so I'll uh, turn the camera back on once I get a little closer to having this hole chiseled out. It is uh, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We'll see how long this takes me. Here is the one hour mark. It is 2 o'clock. And as much as I don't want to, I think I got to go a little deeper. I mean, I've got plenty of depth on the backside, but it's on the hill. Um, I don't think I quite have 12 inches here in the front, so I'm going to run another round of the jackhammer. It is now 2.30, and I think I've got it deep enough now. I had to go this way more. I realized I hadn't gone far enough and when I started looking at the the screw for somehow somehow when I was digging with the back I got a little farther here or maybe when I chiseled that first big rock out I think maybe that's what got me way over there but I had to recheck my lines and I had to take about another six inches out of this side to to where my paint line was. I want to end today by thanking Performance Heating and Air for loaning me the jackhammer. So Curtis and Kareen, thank you as always. And the piers are all done. So we're just going to have to do a little bit more rebar and put up a couple of forms that were left open for the tractor to get in the foundation and we'll be getting closer to that cement pour. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I almost forgot. I have to take you guys back on the wild ride up the hill. Ball cap cam. Here we go.
retreat. Sweet. <laughs> 